Approximately 29 million people suffer with diabetes in the U.S., but our next guest has a new treatment to actually get rid of diabetes and in some cases reverse the damage caused by the life-threatening disease. Here to explain how it works, please welcome Dr. Stanley Lewis and Dr. Marcin Baclaw with Diabetes Relief. So when you say diabetes, it's, it's confusing for a lot of people because it causes so many different things. So it's almost an umbrella uh, and causes an avalanche in the body. So explain what it does inside the body. Right. So one of the earlier times I was on your show, I mentioned that I really don't like to think of diabetes as a disease. Uh, it's mm -hmm. really a, a symptom of a disease. Okay. And the disease is that your metabolism starts to fail right metabolic failure is really what ultimately re uh, results in diabetes and once you start getting diabetes once your pancreas is unable to uh, keep up uh, in terms of the insulin with the amount of sugar and other carbohydrates that you're ingesting then you start to get the symptoms of diabetes. Yeah, the and whole those, body starts shutting down, really. The body really starts to shut down. It's really a disease of vessels. So you, if you get diabetes in your eyes, that's called retinopathy, and mm -hmm. it can cause blindness. If you get, it's the leading cause yeah. of blindness. In Renal fact, failure, it, leading you, cause. If it causes, if it gets in your kidneys, it's uh, uh, nephropathy, and cause you can, to end up on di uh, uh, dialysis. dialysis. And likewise, if you get heart disease, uh, number one cause heart of heart disease. disease. Exactly. So it ultimately leads to all of these other complications, including neuropathy, which is probably one of the most insidious because we really don't have any way of treating that. Yeah, yeah. All right. So neuropathy, and then of course, number one reason for amputations as well. So, uh, Dr. Vakla, as a podiatrist, oftentimes you can see diabetes show up in people's feet. Absolutely. Yeah. Of all the diabetic patients that we see in my office, one of the biggest problems is that neuropathy that he was explaining, which can then lead to getting those diabetic foot ulcers that can get infected and cause people to get yeah, hospitalized. And here's the problem. A lot of times people will go in and treat this as is, if it's a dermatology issue, mm -hmm. and it's not. And then right here, number one reason for amputations. Right. And then, of course, once you get an amputation, because healing is so hard. In fact, healing and, and getting a little bitty cut can be so dangerous that people even getting their toes clipped. Oftentimes, if you have diabetes, we'll go to a special podiatrist for that. Absolutely. And it, diabetics have to be especially cautious because they don't have that sensation. And they can be walking around on the floor, step on a pin or a piece of glass, never realize it. Days can go by and wounds like we just saw can come from letting something go unnoticed. Okay. So you talked about what's breaking down in the body. Let's talk about how diabetes relief is just really kind of a very different way of treating it because you truly are treating it. I think sometimes uh, people are kind of just base, barely maintaining the disease itself, right? right. Uh, as opposed to getting to the root cause and changing that. Right. So as an internist, I, I felt like many other physicians mm -hmm. that I was really just a, a numbers jockey. I was really just watching these hemoglobin A1Cs and these serum glucose levels and hoping and praying that patients would diet and exercise and do the sorts of things that might slow down the steady decline that is uh, the hallmark of yeah. diabetes. Yeah, and of course and people a lot of times with type 1, diet and exercise is not necessarily the it, issue. It won't even get you there, yeah. right? So uh, I felt not helpless per se, but certainly uh, out, out, outmanned, outnumbered yeah. <laughs> by, the, by diabetes. And so what diabetes relief does is it adds and it's actually an opportunity for patients to start to reverse some of those yeah. uh, complications. So get rid of the diabetes and then heal right. what, I what's happening. I wouldn't go as far as to say get rid of the diabetes. Okay. It's not a cure. Uh, it is a treatment. But what it does do is because it resets your metabolism, it can help you to start to reverse some of these complications yeah. of diabetes. Yeah, and when I say get rid of diabetes, it was like you're not seeing those numbers that you would before. Right, okay. right. So medications can help you correct the numbers. Yeah. They can make all the boxes look good. But a lot of patients still continue to complain, uh, like Dr. Vaclaw was explaining, of no sensation in their right, legs and right, right. in, in their feet and end up with those amputations, which you saw in the earlier segment. Yeah. Uh, earlier uh, 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 introduction. Uh, introduction. Yeah, so yeah. We're, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to heal that process. Yeah. And you have done that. Uh, you have one patient, Kenneth, uh, who has an interesting story. He's from Lufkin because people are coming from around the country yes. to get this treatment here. It's not available everywhere. So he had a small wound in his foot. And then what ended up happening? Well, Kenneth actually got a pair of boots from his grandkids. Uh -huh. And they didn't fit very well. 
And so he ended up getting a sore on his foot, and then that became infected, and ultimately he was a, uh, that, that foot yeah, uh, that had to be amputated. Wow. Uh, he found out about diabetes relief actually on TV, and he came in and started getting treatments in 90, or I think it was about 100, 112 days, his wound was healed. Yeah. Now, he had another sore on his other foot that also healed he was going to they were afraid they were going to have to amputate that but because he healed so well yeah. he uh, avoided an amputation and that's because there are people who oftentimes will have the amputations and that wound never really closes up so what you saw right there is pretty amazing uh you had a foot injury case result when somebody had bake a bacon grease burn and it healed in eight days post injury and that's something that oftentimes doesn't happen with diabetics uh a hair growth case. Uh, yes. Someone had lost their hair. Well, obviously it wasn't me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, diabetes relief doesn't do anything for this, but in this case, and as we see a lot with our diabetic patients, hair starts to thin, starts to fall out, uh, and I apologize, there's a shadow in that picture of yeah. the cell phone which may distort somewhat, but this patient along with many of our other patients are getting getting their hair back. Right. And you can see a lot more of these testimonies and see a lot more of these results uh, at Diabetes Relief. You can get a free bottle of Metabolism Enhancer as well when you have a consultation with Diabetes Relief in November. Call them at this number. It is 281-600-5000. 281-600-5000. Just mention Great Day Houston when you call. And for more information, log on to diabetesrelief.com. This has really been a lifesaver for so many people who have been suffering with diabetes. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back.